Hey, so today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can control how many lines per work record are created when you do a release to warehouse on a sales order, for example. Um, the scenario we're, we're looking at is perhaps you've got some items that are large items, like just heavy pieces that you know you need one pick per um, work record. And maybe you've got those, and then you've got some other items that you can have multiple picks per work record here. So what we're going to do to accomplish this is we're going to use the filter code on an item. So I want to tag individual items here with a filter code that, to direct it to a new work template. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to go into the warehouse management module, and then we're going to look at the um, product filters. And we'll click on product filters here. And what I've done is I've created one, one code here called heavy under code two. And you could obviously have as many different codes as you want to steer it to different uh, work templates. But uh, for this example here, I'm just gonna use a, a single uh, product uh, code two and mark it as heavy. It's either gonna be heavy or, or null or blank. Okay, so the next thing we wanna take a look at is our actual work template. So we're gonna go under warehouse management, setup work, then work templates. So what I'm gonna do, the warehouse I'm gonna to use today is 64, so I'm gonna filter down to warehouse 64. And I've got two work templates created. This one is SO Direct, and then one is SO Heavy. So the SO Direct one, if I go to the general tab, under the maximum number of lines, I've, I've set this to three, this would obviously be however many lines you'd want on the, the everyday items, the smaller items that you want. I've set it to three just for the exam, this example. And then we can also look at the query on this one. So on this query, it's just the normal, just using the warehouse filter, so it's filtering down just for warehouse 64. Now, if we take a look at the, the other one here, this SO Direct Heavy, um, the general tab on this one, I can look at the maximum number of pick lines here is one. So any item that hits this template, is there's just gonna be one item per template here on this one. Now this one, the query is just a little bit different. So if we take a look at that query, so when we look at this one, so we've, we've got two different um, criteria. So we've got our normal warehouse filter, and then we I've also added this other one here where it's looking at uh, code two and heavy. All right. So the important part of this one is, if I go back to my overview tab and look at these two, um, two work templates, is that we want to make sure that our more specific template is has the lower sequence number. So when, when it comes to this one, we want it to look at this one first and then this, this general one here. Um, if they're in the reverse order, it'll always pick this the more general one and it will never really get down to your um, to your more specific one. Okay, so then the last little piece of uh, setup we need to take a look at, let's go take a look at uh, on the release product. Uh, the item I'm going to use is a L0101. Filter down to that one and we'll take a look at that item. And if we scroll down here into the warehouse tab and look at the codes here, I have a code too heavy in, in this on this item. Okay. So now what we can do, if we go to the sales orders, I'll go to the sales orders. I've created an example for us. And then we look at this sales order right here to uh, US uh, 003, which is Forest Wholesales. I've got um, several items on here. Um, so I've got the L101, the L100, A001, and A002. Um, let's go ahead and add one more since our, um, our template's gonna break it at, our general template's gonna break it at, at three, um, three lines. So I wanna get um, actually a total of three works here. So I'm just gonna add one more number. There. All right, so I've got adding one of those, okay. So what I expect is I have the L101, which is, is marked as heavy, and then these other four items here are, are, are not marked as heavy. So what I should see is this one here will create a work of its own, and then I'll get three of these on one work since I was breaking my regular work at three items, and then one of these items will end up on a, a third, third piece of work. So let's uh, release this to warehouse and see what happens. Okay, so we've released it to warehouse. Let's go look at the work here in the work screen just to see what we what we got. So we'll go to all work here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter down to the, to the sales order, the 001169, so we can see what we have. All right, so we did get indeed get three pieces of work. So let's take a look at the first one. So here's the pick for our L0101. This is our heavy item. So this is our, our single item that we're, um, that we're going to pick on its own. And then let's look at the second work. Okay, so the second work has three of the items. So remember on the second template that we chose, we, we were breaking that work at three items apiece. So we got it, this work template filled up. So we have three items there. And then if we look at the last one, it should be just our last, last item on there. Okay, so then there's our last item. All right, so obviously there's several ways you can, you, or several fields you could use to do this. And the, this, the example that I'm using here, um, I, this was the one that I wanted to use. I wanted to use a filter code, but you know, you can use different um, codes actually on the item. You, you, you know, this could, could apply it to a couple of different scenarios or situations. So I hope you found this, this helpful and can uh, use this on, in your implementation. Thanks.